Appreciating what you have. This is something... I see it in some people. I'm not going to say who. I'm not saying... They're not on this YouTube channel. They don't subscribe or anything. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, but the problem is, if I speak too much, they'll know exactly who I'm talking about. If they ever did want to, the videos. Um, but they focus on what people think about them and how they look and how they progress their career and how they need a bigger house, a bigger car, a bigger debt. Um, look at yourself from another perspective. Now, I know I often benchmark myself for my standard of living. That's very easy for me to do because this is the way I live. Um, but the, the whole point was that, um, to show that there is another way of life. There is an easier way of living. There is a better way of living if you choose. It doesn't mean you have to be exactly the same as me, but what I'm striving from is you don't always have to be that nine to five doing the job you hate and constantly in debt and all that sort of stuff, which is too many people. I say that openly, it's too many people are doing it. They're not happy. They're not happy. And this gets back to the appreciation of what you got. Because let's face it, if it's all materialistic, it's often shrouding that there's a deeper problem. Um, I've, got, I've got friends that both partners um, are always working. They don't spend much time together. Now, I know I go away for students at a time, but as you can see, I've been back probably two months now, and I've spent all that time with my family. Um, I actually spend more time with my family, should I say, than a lot of people do. Because if you calculate coming in, kids come in at, say, 5 o'clock, dinner, then there's nearly the bedtime, etc. So you get two hours a day where, you know, I spend a lot more time with the kids. So although I do it in stints, I do try to focus more time on the kids. Um, but even that, is getting a life balance. This is why I work hard to get contracts with flexibility in them. It doesn't always work that way, you know, um, but I try. That's the thing. I value the family time because that's what's important to me. Now, the other side of that being is, do I need a flash car? Do I need a big house? Do I need... In all honesty, with the job I do, if I went full-time, full-blown, corporate side, I could have all that, no problem. Company would give me a car. I could have a, I mean, if you watch the older videos in here, you'll see there's two Mercedes. There's a black Mercedes and a silver Mercedes. They were, they were company cars. Um, the reality is, I'm driving around an old van at the minute, but I'm not bothered. What, if somebody looks at me and goes, oh, look at that crap old van, I don't care. I've got no debt. Um, interest, you're either making it or you're uh, paying somebody else it. It's as simple as that. So myself, I prefer people pay me it. So I invest my money instead. Um, so yeah, what, what's important? Valuing the people around you. Value, valuing what you have already. Because some people run themselves down, but the way to look at this is, do you have your eyesight? Do you have all your limbs? What would you pay somebody if you lost your eyes? How much could somebody pay you to have your eyesight? Because if you look at it that way, you're already a millionaire in that sense. Um, so that's the thing. You, you, you are in a lot better position than a lot of people are, but it's about understanding and appreciation, appreciation of what you already have, which is good health. Um, even if you're not got good health, because I know some people have different problems, but part of that is actually reprogramming yourself into um, being more positive and looking at what you do have. 
you know. Um, some people I know, they're in quite that way, physically. But mentally, 100% there. Financially, same. Um, what they need to do is just get the best out of what they, they have and what they want to do and what they, they can do. Um, and that's it, appreciation. A lot of people do not appreciate that they have a lot more physically than some of these people have. But at the same time, I often see in the people that have lost limbs or whatever, they're more focused on it. I think with the Paralympics, for example, a lot of people gained their confidence and stuff back through the Paralympics. I've got to admit, I'm not a big fan of the gravy train on that, with the, the number of people that ride on the back of it and um, make it into a major entity. But, um, not because I'm against the Paralympics, don't get that. It's, it's more to do with the way the money's being manipulated, the same as the Olympics is. Um, but the point is, a lot of people gain confidence through it. A lot of people have, uh, have had life-changing experiences. And this is the thing. If you've got to focus on something that's positive, you'll get more out of it. It's very easy to focus on negative stuff. It's very easy to get sidelined into pulling yourself down. Um, the positive bit is going, you know what, I'm going to make a change today. I'm going to do something about today. I'm happy I've got my wife. I'm happy I've got my husband. I've got beautiful kids, blah, blah, blah. You have a lot more than many, many people out there. Probably more than 90% of the planet. Um, and I say that in quite a strong way. After spending time in the Philippines and other locations, when I see people in the UK say they've got nothing, um, sorry, you have quite a lot. <laughs> you have quite a lot. Um, when you see people sweeping mud floors and stuff, because <laughs> there's no concrete even, um, they've got a lot less. They didn't get an Xbox for Christmas either. Uh, but the point being is, they wouldn't need it. They've got no electric anyway. But also, they appreciate absolutely anything. Giving sweets away is one of the most common things I do in the Philippines. Keep a bag of sweets just to give away to the kids and stuff. And people just appreciate these small things. And I find it more in places like the Philippines where I spent time the appreciation of the smallest thing is is very very high. Yeah, I find often in the UK people complain about things that are so insignificant in many parts of the world. I did a lot of work for social housing before. I used to survey for the the housing, and you get people complain that this kitchen's here, been here fifteen years already. Why can't we get a new one? Because there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's in the cycle to get changed, but you're not getting one this year. But I'm going to go to the newspapers. You, there's nothing wrong with it. It's still functioning. It's still So there's a decent homes um, standard within the UK related to social housing and rental accommodation. But at the same time, a lot of this stuff, you're just going, come on, play the game, you know. There is nothing wrong with it. You've looked after it. This is why it's lasting. It's in good condition. You be, you may feel you're being penalised for being a good tenant, but I actually, say the problem is there's too many bad tenants. That, that that's the reality. But it, obviously, I don't say that sort of stuff. Um, but as I haven't worked in that arena for a while, um, I can say what I like, and honestly, but yeah, a lot of those people don't appreciate what they got. You get people complain that they're not getting their maintenance done and this and that. And then you find out they're in 10 months rent arrears and things like that. So they want all this work done, but they still haven't paid for it, uh, even though they were given the rent through their benefits. So there's... The thing is, if you appreciate what you've got, you can focus it on a positive way. You can focus on where you want to be, 
but also it makes you happier inside. You know, you're a happier person because you're not trying to keep up with the Joneses or get a bigger car, put an extension on the house. But you, you're more focused on, I'm happy with what I've got. You know what? Instead of getting the extension and another 25000 on the mortgage, let's just pay the mortgage off. Let's focus on that. And then we can even be even happier because we've got no debt around our necks. That is an example. Because once you start getting rid of debt, you can start focusing on increasing your um, financial wealth, but more importantly, your personal well-being. Can't say any fairer than that. Thanks for watching.